my daughter a ride in, um, so we'll get perspectives from uh, an older person riding the street and from a younger person. I'm 42 and my daughter's 21, so we'll, we'll see what she has to say about her riding experience with her own street. So how do you think it arrives for you? Right. I think um, it's a smooth ride, especially coming off of, uh, I used to have an R3, um, so it's a completely upgraded bike, there's a lot more to it. So there's a lot more to the street than the R3 because the R3 was what, 320 cc's? Um, yeah, something around there. And this is a 765 cc engine, so do you think that the, it's smoother than the R3? I think it's smoother, um, but there's also a different power band to it. So the R3 was more of a, a steady incline of speed when you would grab the throttle versus the street triple is you grab the throttle, it goes, and then it's all there. Yeah, and for me it's the opposite because I had a Yamaha R1, so I was going from way more power to less power. So to me it feels like I'm always pulling the throttle and I feel like the throttle's fighting back with me because on the R1, it was just like I pulled the throttle and the bike just wanted to fly. So for me as an older person and I was riding 10 years of one liter bikes, it just feels like I'm always fighting with the bike to get more speed. So, so to you, it's the opposite because you went from a low powered bike to a more power. Yeah. Okay. So This is the part where I stole out. <laughs> she actually stalled. I had to wait for her. <laughs> so how do you think the comfort is like on the seat? Um, the seat doesn't bother me. I think it's like one of the reasons I bought the Street Triple was because of the, the rider's comfort. Um, even besides the seat, the position of your wrist while riding. Yeah, I, and I find that, that the seat for me, it's comfortable, but after about an hour, it's like the seat starts hurting my butt. <laughs> and, uh, and the handlebars are way more comfortable for me because I went from clip-ons on a sport bike, so I'm more of an upright and I have wrist injuries. And you also have a wrist injury, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that's been a fun journey. Yeah, we, we both crashed. I, I got hit by an SUV, and then two weeks later, I think, you went down at a dirt bike track and someone hit you from behind. Yeah, that was. I also have um, a YZ250, and uh, my first time on uh, riding Field of Dreams in Millville, New Jersey, and some goon took me out. <laughs> and he, he took me out really good, he broke my wrist. Um, and finally, three months later, back to riding, completely um, normal. Yeah, and we're, we're both recovering. I, I finally got 100% uh, my bone healed, and I think you're still recovering. Yeah, a little bit. I'm almost there. Yeah, we'll, we'll get back into the fitness of it. Um, how do you think uh, your legs feel uh, compared to the R3? Uh, I think there's more space for my uh, legs because um, it's a little bit of, of a bigger bike than the R3. Yeah, for me it's the opposite because I'm I'm six foot and I'm older, so to me it feels like I have less space. The bike feels like a toy, like I've said in previous videos. I feel like I'm riding a Hot Wheels bike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My my perspective is different because I'm standing at five six, so um, I'm not completely flat footed on the bike, but I'm very close to it, so it's it's spacious um, leg wise. Yeah, so it's uh, so. From an older person's perspective, it's a little cramped and a, a lot lighter. And then for a younger person, it's uh, a little bit heavier, but it's still more room for the, for her. But it's still a fun bike. I like to rip it. I finally broke it in. I got the thousand miles in it. I think you're still under 700. Or uh, I've actually just gotten to 799 miles today. <laughs> so. It's still a lot of fun. It does stink thinking about when do I need to shift and what I what speed shouldn't I be at, but it doesn't stop me from passing old people and getting where I need to go. <laughs> old people like your dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I, I once uh, once I opened it up and uh, finally broke it in. It's been a lot of fun, especially pushing it between the 6,000 to 8,000 RPM, which is its peak range. It's it's a blast riding a bike. I have a lot of fun on the twisties. We're about to get onto the twisties now. Um, what do you think about the tires, like the Pirelli Super Courses? Um, I think they're the best tires I've ever had. Um, I'm not sure as far as durability how long they'll last me. I know talking to um, Jack, uh, Jack Gonzalez, he's the guy that sold us our Triumph, um, my street triple, and he kind of chuckled when I told him how long are these tires going to last. Um, about 1,200 miles, and he said, well, I think you'll get a lot more out of it. Yeah, because you're a lot, uh, a light, lighter rider, and I, I myself weigh 185 pounds, so I actually have a lot of wear on my front tire, and my rear tire looks brand new, so it's like if I'm, I guess I'm braking a lot heavier than my daughter is, um, but the tires are really grippy, like even, I've ridden this bike in the rain, and I still, I had plenty of grip either in wet weather and dry weather. Yeah, I think the, the tires do great um, with the traction and also having traction control. I've never had a, a moment on my bike where I've slid at all. Um, so I always feel safe with this, this pair of shoes on my bike. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and Alyssa uh, also has a little mini uh, windscreen on the front of her bike to help with um, reducing uh, wind blasts when she's on the highway. But it, it looks funny when you first see it, but it actually is pretty cool looking. So I'm thinking of getting a mini windscreen for my street, especially now that we're going into the fall weather and I actually can ride it like my Tiger and she only has one bike. Um, don't you, what about the mirrors? When you go on the highway, do you think they vibrate a lot? I think uh, that the mirrors do vibrate. Like if you look at, into the mirrors while you're on the highway, just checking to see if you can jump over into the other lane, you really have to concentrate and look because it's so shaky. I find that with the right one. With the left one, it doesn't seem to shake a lot. It seems for me it's the right yeah, one. One of my favorite right. features uh, of the bike is something that I added later, which is the heated grips. Because my fingers get so cold, like I'm an older person, so I don't know if that has something to do with it. But uh, my daughter also got the heated grips, but I even used them in the summer when it was chilly at night. And my other favorite feature of the bike is the dash. Like, I really like the dash. Like, I have it on Style 1. What's one of your favorite features of the bike? Um, I think my ultimate favorite feature of the bike is the clutchless shifting both ways. Oh yeah, that's me too. Because it, it really <laughs> makes um, riding a little bit easier if you're trying to be more lazy that day. Um, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of things that you that are. Yeah, this part I I was got so pissed off. This guy just t puts a turn signal, so stops in the middle of the road. Like, who the hell does that? People are just aggravating in Pennsylvania. But um, anyways, what was I saying again? Uh, Your favorite feature of the bike. Uh, yeah, one of my favorite features of the bike is a dash because of the style. Like, you have four different styles, and I, I personally like style one because everything's big. No, I'm not going blind, but I just like to see the numbers big. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I have experience with the super courses because I had a Ducati Penny Alley 1199, and those tires, I got about 1,500 miles on them, and the rear tire had the cords coming out. Um, I see. What else? Can we, what about the acceleration? Do you think? Well, you can't really open it up yet, like in terms of taking off because of the break-in, But, um, but what, how do you think it, it works for you right now? Um, I think it's it's like I talked about how the power band's a little different. Um, so when you do get on it, I feel like it really like it. I would compare it to a rocket, where it just it explodes with power once it gets to that certain point in, in the throttle and the power band. Yeah, I mean, for me, my experience, like, she had, she went from a smaller bike to a bigger bike, and I went from a bigger bike to a smaller bike. I mean, it definitely has a little bit less power, but it has enough power to satisfy you when you're taking off. Like, and uh, one of my favorite um, 
other features of the bike is the lightness of it. Like I said in a few videos, it feels like a toy. Like it, it, compared to my Tiger, it feels like I'm not riding anything. I'm just flying through the wind. That's uh, something I can say about the bike is how light it really is. Um, especially, so I had the 2016 R3 and this Street Triple actually weighs 5 pounds less than the R3 did. So it it feels the same to me, but it is a really light bike for what it has to offer. So so it weighs less and has more power. That's yeah. how, that's always a good combination. Um, what do you think about the heat coming off the engine? For me, I found it that it gets pretty hot. That's one of the things about this bike that it just the engine gets really hot. Um, I think it's a it's a blessing in disguise for the winter. Um, in the summer, it, it is a little bit too much, um, but it, it doesn't really bother me when I'm when I have a fistful of throttle. It's more of a problem when you're stopped. Um, but in the winter, it's really helpful because if you're feeling a little chilly, you know, just warm up a little bit when you get to stop at a light. Yeah, you put your foot right up against the engine. <laughs> yeah, it keeps your legs warm. Well, in this, uh, and when I had, uh, when we were making this video, I wore short socks and my leg, my skin touched the motor and that burned. That was, <laughs> I couldn't believe how hot that thing is. Um, what's the other feature that I wanted to bring up was some sort of riding, um, Uh, the gas mileage, uh, I can attest to it, it gets about 159 miles of the tank when it's full, because I've actually been monitoring that. So it averages around 41 miles of the gallon. Do you get good gas mileage on yours? Um, I feel like the gas mileage isn't that great. Um, so I live an hour away from you, and there's some, some days, like for example, this ride, I know I had to fill up... Um, before I got to you and then after I left your house I had to fill up again just to make it home and then once I got home it says um, low fuel level so I don't know if it's just my riding style or or what it really is it's making me go through gas so much so do you think you get you got better uh, better gas mileage in the R3 than the street uh, maybe um, I think so I think I, I did um, and I, I rode the R3, you know, at least two hours every time I rode it, and I still um, made the gas tank last, you know, a few days at least, like yeah, three or four days. I would think that would make sense because it's a, a smaller engine, and it's, it should give you better gas mileage than a bigger engine. Um, when the storage compartment on the bike is pretty small. You can probably carry a pack of M&Ms or... Uh, I don't know, some type of snack that you need, but that's about it. Um, you s what about some of the upgrades you've done to the bike besides heated grips? Um, so, heated grips was the first upgrade, and then I also decided to buy frame sliders, um, which I don't even know what part of the bike that is. The engine? Yeah, yeah so the those, engine frame, um, those frame sliders are to protect the engine, and I think that's a... It's a discreet add-on. Um, it does look good, and I, I think if it'll ever need to, it will serve its function. Uh, then the other thing I did buy was, um, it's a tiny windscreen for the Street Triple. And the reason I really bought that um, was to help with some wind blast. Um, especially, I have a neck injury, so it makes a humongous difference. You know, going 70 miles or per an hour on the highway, I felt like really um, in pain after 20 minutes of doing it because of my neck injury. Yeah, it feels like you're going to get blown off the bike. It's like You have no wind protection at all on these naked bikes, which is the same uh, problem with every naked bike. Yeah, but the, the other um, thing that I added to my bike was the Bluetooth module, but I haven't had a chance to um, take advantage of it. So. Which I can attest to. Um, Triumph needs to work on this. This is ridiculous that you pay a lot of money for it and it doesn't um, function with half of the phones or GoPros in the market. Which I don't understand why they started making it work with old phones like the iPhone 6 and 7 instead of the new ones, which every other company does. But that's my only gripe with Triumph right now about the bike. Yeah, I think my, my other gripe with Triumph... Um, I have heard in the past that Triumph
shop only makes their accessories for the bikes between five and ten years so knowing that this Bluetooth module was not going to work immediately with my phone I still ran to get it so that I could actually have it yeah um, I did the same thing I, I went and bought it and my daughter bought it too and then we both connected and you've seen it I, maybe you've seen my video of me installing it I'll, I'll put a link in up in the corner but it's like you, you get it installed and it doesn't work with anything I've even called Triumph about it yeah but I think um, accessory wise the other thing that I really want to change about the bike is um, the bulky turn signals on it you know it's not something that I'm gonna do right away but it does bother me how big they are yeah I, want, I wish they would have had the LED ones from England yeah and then this is the last complaint about the bike, but why did they put Olin suspension on, what is it, the, the rear, rear, but not the front? <laughs> <Yeah>. I mean... <laughs> yeah, my, you should just put it on the front forks, too. It makes no sense, but... But really, it's a great bike overall. It's just some little complaints there. Yeah, I mean, my... my I love the Super Courses. This is the only uh, thing I, I see a lot of European bikes come with um, Pirelli tires and super courses and they're all great and stuff but uh, in terms of mileage out of them like 1500 miles is not a lot like I'm actually looking to upgrade into the Michelin Power 5s or the Power RS's you get like 4,000 miles out of it depends on how you ride and they're the best tires in the rain I've had them on my R1 and they're super grippy so I, I don't see a need for super soft tires uh, unless you're at a track yeah that is one thing I will definitely change my tire um, but I really do want to take these Pirellis on the track and get a feel for the street triple on the track um, wouldn't be my first track experience but going from an R3 on the track to uh, basically full loaded in my perspective um, street triple would be really different especially on the straights uh, on the R1 I did 140 down the straight in Millville in New Jersey so I wonder if these I think these top out about 140 yeah I'm not too <laughs> sure I I know the R3 going down the straight the fastest that bike will go is 95 miles per an hour and it takes a little bit to get there so it never saw that day um, when we did ride the track in Millville yeah I'll, I'll include a couple clips of us at the track that day um, we both went I took my R1 and she had the R3 it was a fun day it was very nerve-wracking when you're at the track with the, with a bike you put uh, thousands of dollars into you didn't want to crash and <laughs> seeing one of the guys with us crashing his our, his uh, street yeah, yeah he had a street triple yeah, yeah so, he totaled that well he, he didn't take any air out of his tires we did well all, the rest of us did in our group and he did and he went right down in front of me well i heard another <laughs> thing about him was that he waited he was going to wait to change his tires after the track day really yeah so i think he was showing some cords on the track and that's why he went down so, yeah. but because of him also i got yelled at by the marshal because um, his his crash i didn't really see all the red flags but the marshal had some stuff oh, to he, say about it yeah you kept going around. <laughs> um, well uh, i guess i'll summarize the both our perspectives I, like i said I, as an older person i find the bike very comfortable on my wrist i don't have the pressure like a clip on a bike does um the seat's good for about an hour hour and a half for me personally um i love the gas mileage on it i think it's great um about 160 miles of the tank i used to get about 120 if i'm lucky on the r1 and the panning galley i was lucky if i got 97 to 100 on that tank um, so for me overall, I give the bike out of a 1 to 10 rating a 9. Um, I don't need all that power anymore. I like that it's uh, lower uh, powered. So what, how you give your last thoughts? Um, if I had to rate the bike from 1 to 10, I would give it a 9 as well. Um, I think it's a, a perfect bike for the average person. Um, the average person being not too, not too small, not too humongous. Um, so I think it's got great power to it like I'm 21 I I weigh like 190 pounds um, and I think this is all the power that I'll ever need for the street and for the track 
Um, I think it has great great brakes too. It has Brembo brakes. It has great suspension in the back. Um, there's really a lot of good features about it, um, especially having the RS model, which comes with all the bells and whistles. So overall, a great bike. Yeah, there isn't much difference between the RS and the regular model. It's just all in suspension. The quick shifter isn't included. Um, I think that's about it. I don't think yeah, there's. I'm much not too sure. I I know when buying the Street Triple, I knew you know why why get the R when you can get the RS. Yeah, I mean if you have a few extra bucks, just get the RS. I wouldn't go to the regular one unless you like the color schemes of the regular. The regular one is like black and red. Yeah. But um, yeah, overall we both like the bike. It's pretty comfortable. Um, I keep in mind for a few years. Um, I probably Alyssa will too, unless there's something that comes out that we both see that we both want. Yeah, I think uh, definitely keeping the bike and you know I do. I have three bikes in total. Just uh, two of them are dirt bikes. So if if I see something else that catches my mind, I think I'll add to the collection instead of getting rid of anything. So. Yeah, my, my only off-road uh, infractions are uh, when I took the Tiger off-road upstate New York and when I almost went down on my R1 that I went through the grass. <laughs> 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 All right, peeps. Well, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you like this video, give us a, a thumbs up and a like. And if you have any comments or anything you think that we left out, um, just send us a message. Um, we'll be making a video about um, some of the upgrades we've done to the bike. Um, in the future. Um, talk to you then, guys. Yeah, take care. Two wheels down. Yep, peace. You know, Rest your brace. Yeah, I just was gonna stop to take a picture of the bikes. Part that I want to order for either this bike or the dirt bike, so.